everyone, welcome to Sue's Cooking. This afternoon I am making a chicken broccoli risotto in our quick cooker. So the first step is to turn the quick cooker on and to turn it on to sear. I've already added a little oil in the pan. We're gonna heat the pan up and once we get it up to temperature, we're gonna saute some onions and some bell peppers. So let me show you one of the ways that I cut bell peppers that a lot of people don't, um, just because uh, I find it much easier to seed the pepper rather than cutting off the top, which a lot of people do. I cut the bottom like this. Um, I wasn't sure if you could see on here. So I cut my bottom like that, and then I just stick my thumbs in the center, and then you can pull it apart, and you can easily get into where the, um, the seed ball is with your thumb, and then you can just pull, and voila. There you go. So you haven't lost any of the top of your pepper, which normally you do when you're using um, cutting off the top. So the next tool we're going to use is called our quick slice. It has um, serrated blades and the blades will go ahead and cut our um, bell pepper into slices and that'll just make it easier for me to, um, I can either put it in the manual food processor or I can just take these slices and turn them sideways and dice them. So now they're perfect for like sauteing. If you were going to um, do a stir fry, they're all the same thickness you can see. Um, and if you're going to dice them to put them into maybe a pasta salad or a regular salad, you can just turn them sideways and um, just dice them like that. So I'm just going to do that with this bell pepper and get that started. And then I'm going to do my onion in the manual food processor, which the manual food processor is perfect for guacamole, for salsa. I do my tuna fish in it with celery and onions. Um, you might do frozen margaritas in it because you can even chop up ice with that. You can do hummus or pesto. There's so much you can do with it. It has three blades inside the bottom and the blades spin and lift at the same time. So what that means is if you're doing um, herbs like uh, basil or cilantro or something like that, you will be able to uh, chop and lift all at the same time. going. Now we're going to take our onion. We're going to put our onion in the manual food processor. So see the blades that I was telling you how they're at different heights? It's a three cup capacity with the silicone base on it so that it won't travel across the bottom of your um, counter. And I'm just going to put this into chunks. And then I'm just going to chop and dice it so that I don't have to cry because the onions are all contained. As you can see, nice and finely chopped. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a spatula here, a nice tall spoon one. And you want something tall when you're using your um, quick cooker because the bowl is very deep. And you don't wanna be touching the sides because they're definitely hot. So while that's sauteing, I'm going to show you the garlic press. So, Garlic is something that is really, really super good for your health, and you definitely want to have garlic in your diet regularly. You don't need to peel your garlic when you are using our garlic press, but I do cut the end off, the end that's um, closest to where the bulb is. That helps it to squish through the garlic press a lot easier. So, and if the bulb is really big, the other thing you can do is you can just cut it right in half, which makes it really easy, and then you just stick it half side in. So then you just, Squish, scrape, and then there's a cute little Barbie hairbrush tool. Mine's in the dishwasher because we have three garlic presses because I used garlic this morning for breakfast. We use garlic a lot in our recipes. So uh, my husband requested that we have more than one garlic press because he didn't want to keep digging through the dishwasher. So this one I'm not even going to um, cut in half. I'm just going to stick in the hopper and I'm going to squish. So we're sauteing onions, peppers, and garlic in the quick cooker. Now the quick cooker can be yours this month at 60% off. If you don't already own a pressure cooker, um, you can get this entire set. Uh, you can get the quick cooker actually, and there's accessories that just came out um, at National Conference. We have a bunt pan 
we have a, a ceramic bowl, we have um, all different types of um, accessories. I actually have um, the egg uh, slicer, uh, the egg cooker, where you can put a dozen eggs in, hard boil a dozen eggs in there as well. So while that's cooking, I measured out a cup of aborio rice. And for risotto, you definitely want to use the aborio rice. It's different than regular rice and it'll cook differently. And we're using our one cup measure all. I'm also using the four tablespoon measure all. And this is honey Dijon mustard. And you'll notice that depending upon which side you're reading, the blue reads liquids, the red reads solids. And I'm going to push that in at the end of our cooking. And then I have our easy read measuring cup with three cups of chicken stock. And if you have a, a pressure cooker and you want this recipe, just private message me and let me know and I can um, send it to you. It's super easy to do. Um, I have a whole cookbook for this. And while that's cooking in the background, let me just take a, a quick second and just talk to you about our newest tool that is out September 1st. And if you want to host a show, I am trying, I'm piloting a new one hour virtual party that is on a platform not Facebook. It's called Squee and I'm doing, um, I'm looking for 10 hostesses to trial this for me so that I can tell my team whether or not I think this, this is a good format for us. Um, you can get this um, blender, this uh, cooking blender, which has a heating element in it. It doesn't just cook with friction, but it actually has a heating element in it. It is patent pending on its jelly and jam setting. You can make homemade nut butters. You can make alternative milks like um, um, almond milk and coconut milk, and you can make flour. You can grind your coffee in here. I mean, this literally is like being the mother. It will cook, stir, and even cleans itself. It is a self-cleaning cooking blender. It has all these different settings on it um, that are already pre-programmed into it so that you can make the smoothest smoothies and um, it's really amazing. I've already cooked the soup with it and um, later today I'm going to go live and I'm going to make a really yummy hummus. Uh, I've made it once and we devoured it. So, um, and it's actually whole, that one of the hummuses is Whole30 compliant because it's um, roasted red peppers instead of chickpeas and walnuts. So um, it's really, really good. So once that's done, we are going to shut it off and then we're going to go ahead and add our um, Aborio rice and we're going to stir that and then we're going to go ahead and add our chicken and our Dijon mustard and then our chicken broth and then um, I'm going to set the cooker for four minutes and when it's all done, then I'm going to actually add the broccoli, the cream cheese and the shredded cheddar cheese and it's going to make this creamy uh, broccoli risotto. So some quick tips about our pressure cooker unlike other pressure cookers on the market. Let me show you the, um, the safety tips on the top. Let me just stir that up a little bit so it can brown. So safety tips. When you are using a pressure cooker, for starters, if you're doing um, savory dishes, you can peel this silicone um, seal off and stick that right in the dishwasher. So if you're doing something with curry, your cake or your breads aren't going to smell. And we have extra... Um, silicone rings in different colors so you can use blue for desserts and white for regular meals and maybe the gray for curry and spicy meals. Um, the other thing is that we have this safety plunger here, this red safety plunger that when it comes to pressure it pops up like a turkey timer and then you can't open it so nobody's going to get injured by the heat or the steam. The last thing and my favorite is is that most of these pressure cookers um, you have to turn the handle where the steam comes out in order to release the steam. With ours you don't have to. The button is way back here. You just push this button and the steam will come out. Now you might not be able to see but there's a, um, a little steam picture on both tabs. You want to make sure that both steam pictures are facing the same way. You don't want this spun around so you want the steam to go away. Last safety feature that they added to this is the fact that in order to move this blender, uh, I mean this pressure cooker, you're not using the handle at the top to move it. We have handles that are right in on the bottom side that you can just lift up so that, um, heaven forbid, the other pressure cookers you're carrying it with the top and it's under pressure and the lid doesn't hold, that would be a disaster. And you never want to... Um, you never want to release the steam underneath your cabinet, so I will turn this sideways when I'm ready to release the steam for this. So now all we're going to do is we're going to hit um, time, um, we're going to shut it off, we're going to hit time, custom, and we're going to turn it up for, um, 
we're gonna actually I'm gonna use the white rice setting hold on so you're just gonna spin it until it says white rice it's four minutes I first start it's gonna spin around uh, for about eight to 12 minutes, depending upon how much food you have in here. If you double the recipe, which I've done before, um, it takes a little bit longer to come up to temperature. Once it comes up to temperature, it's gonna count down from four minutes, it's going to cook in four minutes, it's gonna all be done. I'm gonna stir it, I'm gonna add my two cups of broccoli, I'm gonna add my cream cheese cubes and some shredded cheddar, and I'm gonna have chicken broccoli risotto for lunch. So I hope you guys are having a great day. If you would like to host one of my 10 one hour virtual parties. I have a bonus gift for anybody who's willing to do that. I'm looking for a couple people on the 28th, on the 29th, from either seven to eight on the 29th um, or, or to 28th or 29th, and eight to nine on the 28th. I already have an eight to nine on the 29th. So um, if you are interested in that, and also on the 30th, I think I'm looking for two, four, and six there, and then in September. So I'd love to get some feedback on whether you thought these were better than the Facebook Live ones, um, whether you, um, if your customers and your, your friends that were part of it are interested, I am going to give a little bonus to those of you who are willing to give it a try with me. So let me know if you'd like to do that. And again, thanks for watching Sue's Cooking.